Okay, here's example two of the guided practice problems. Okay, the absolute value of x plus three. So there's more than one way to do this. So it says graph the function. You could put it on Desmos and then graph it on paper that way. You could just know the rules, know the parent function, and know the rule. But since we're just learning this, I kind of ex I expect you to use a table here. That's what I'm expecting because that would be the only way you would really know besides using decimals. So I'm expecting a table here right now. Eventually, you can just graph it without making a table if you know the rules. Uh, negative 5 for x, negative 5 plus 3. So I chose these specifically because I knew our corner was going to be shifted to the left 3. So you have to know this is a shift to the left. So I chose these points. Uh, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. The absolute value of that is 1. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0. The absolute value of 0 is 0. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. The absolute value of 1 is 1. And negative 1 plus 3 is 2. The absolute value of 2 is 2. And you put in 0, you get 3. So we have 5, negative 2. You've got to graph all these points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 2, I'm sorry, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, negative 5, positive 2, keep saying it wrong, negative 4, up 1, negative 3, 0, uh, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 1, and then 0, 3. Those are the points from our table. I graph those, you can see the bottom corners right there, so it's going to look like this. Okay, it says describe the translation, so to describe that, it'd be shift left three. Okay, that's describing that. And then we graphed it. Here's our next one, y equals x squared minus four. Okay, notice the minus four is not inside parentheses with the x, so that's going to be a shift down four. Okay, I'm not expecting to get that right away. I'm expecting to actually make the table and graph it and then see. So if you do negative 2 squared, you get 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Negative 1 squared is 1. 1 minus 3 is, or 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. So graph these points, negative 2, 0. Negative 1, negative 3, 0, negative 4, 1, negative 3, and then 2, 0. Notice that it's kind of a U shape. So what we have is a parabola, like so. The parent graph would have been y equals x squared here. So it's a shift down 4, and there's your graph.